Hey everybody, this is Andy with LoLED Virtual. We just launched a new Unreal Engine plugin called CineLink that allows Unreal to directly connect to cinema cameras like Arri, RED, and soon Sony cameras through the Live Link system. This is obviously awesome for virtual production, but it also opens up a lot of cool creative possibilities using Unreal's lighting system or OSC output, things like that. It allows for direct connection from a cinema camera to Live Link, and you can get information like lens data, gen lock, white balance, that kind of stuff. In this video, I'm gonna go through how to install and activate CineLink. So the first thing you need to do is to acquire CineLink. So you can get it at our website at lowlightvirtual.com, and we are working on getting it in the Unreal Engine Asset Store as well. Once you're here, you can go over to CineLink, you can purchase it. It is a subscription, and we're gonna talk about how to activate it in a second here. On this page, you can also find a link to the documentation, which I highly recommend reading through. There's a whole bunch of really good information here. Uh, feature grid, uh, everything we're gonna go through in this video is also written down if you'd like to follow along as well. And there's a number of blueprints that you can also copy and paste. So definitely recommend going and clicking that link. Once you buy, you'll automatically be emailed a key. That key is yours to do with what you want. And you'll also be sent a link to download the software. If you wanna do a trial of the software and just check it out, you can also just install it without activating it and it'll run for two weeks and it's fully featured. So to do that, again, you're gonna to go to that documentation site, lowlightvirtual.com slash documentation. You're gonna click on software and then you're gonna go over on the left here to files. And then you'll be able to see CineLink and you'll be able to download CineLink right here. Now, super important, CineLink needs to be installed as an engine plugin, not a project plugin. So to do that, you're gonna to need to find your Unreal Engine install directory uh, in this case, I just have this here. So you're gonna go into your UE install folder. You're gonna go into engine, plugins, and you're gonna navigate to a folder called marketplace. Now, you may not have a folder called marketplace if you don't have any other plugins installed. That's fine, you can make it by yourself. Uh, the only thing to note is the capitalization here is important. So just make sure you make a marketplace folder with a capital M. And then in there, you're going to extract your CineLink uh, plugin folder. Once again, capitalization, important. At that point, you just need to activate it like any other plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just launch Unreal here. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do obviously is enable the plugin. So that's gonna be up here at the top right on settings, plugins. You're gonna search for a CineLink. Oops, CineLink. You're gonna enable it and then you're gonna restart Unreal. You know the drill, you've done it a million times. Now once Unreal has been restarted, we can activate CineLink. Now, CineLink is pretty good about logging its output so if you just go into the log here and type CineLink, scroll down, you can see there's no key, so it's not gonna find a key, and where we've actually already activated a trial on this machine, so it's gonna just tell us how many trial days are remaining. But obviously, we want to activate the software that we purchased, so just make sure you have your key handy. You're gonna go into settings, project settings. I'm gonna scroll down to plugins, CineLink settings. Now there's two settings here. There's a host name key map, which is uh, an array, and you're gonna have a deactivate checkbox, which we'll go over in a second. So the first thing we're gonna do is just add a plus. Now on the left here is gonna be the host name of the computer. Now on Windows 11, you can get that by just going into start. You're gonna search for PC name, and you'll see you can view your PC name. I can pull this up, and your device name is right here. I'm just You can copy this. That goes in the left. And then the key goes on the right. Now, the reason that this isn't just one single value is because CineLink works with end display, right, for virtual production stages. So to make it work in an end display setup, you're gonna have a key for probably at least one editor node so that your operators can see the values in real time. You're also gonna have a key for your master end display node. Now, it's important that you only enter the master end display node. It actually will be uh, counterproductive to try and activate it on every single machine. You just need to add it for your master node. So for example, just gonna type in node one. Now, if you have multiple keys, you can uh, enter a second key here, or when you're checking out on the, on the low lead site, I'll just show you here, you can also add additional activations to a single key by increasing the quantity. In this case, I'm just testing it locally. So we're just gonna do this. The settings are saved automatically. So I'm just gonna close out of this and I'm gonna restart the project. Now, obviously, if you are in an end display setup, I would recommend launching it through end display at this point so that your master node also activates itself in addition to your control node. Okay, we're back. Now, once again, I'm gonna just show you the output log here. I'm just gonna type in CineLink. As we can see, 
that it has detected it wasn't activated and we have a successful activation. So now we can go to Window, Virtual Production, Live Link, and we can see now that we have AreCap Live Link, Red RCP2, and Lonet2, which is included for convenience. That's for our own uh, hardware. Now to deactivate it, all you need to do is just go up back into Settings, Project Settings, scroll down to Cinelink Settings, and you're going to check this Deactivate on Next Launch checkbox. The next time you launch this project, it's going to go ahead and deactivate itself, and that frees up that key to be used for another computer. Now, a couple notes here. We're pretty lenient with the licensing with Cinelink. We don't want to put stages in a difficult situation where they need to either constantly be connecting their nodes to the internet if they aren't able to, or like the worst case scenario is that suddenly the plugin stops working in the middle of a production and causes a delay, right? We really don't want that. So we're pretty lenient with this. You will need internet access when the key is activated or deactivated, and you will need to allow the systems to contact the internet at least every month and a half just to renew the license. Okay, that's it for installation and activation. Go ahead and uh, tune into the next video where we start diving into how to use the plugin.